episode number 19. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Thank you for giving me your time, taking notes and participating for the past 18 episodes. Today is episode number 19. We're going to have a special guest as I'm just going to be starting. I see her actually. She is joining me right now, but I still don't see you. Uh, being as invitation so try to invite yourself so I can actually to see you I can only wave to you right now but you need to uh, invite yourself so I can do the split screen share right here all right so uh, what is the no excuses ladies all about it's a it's a weekly show here we go uh, we are inviting our special guest it's a weekly show that uh, for all the ladies out there who want to learn the no excuses way of life in all different view, view, view. One more time. I am just waiting for the response right here. Here we go. I see you are invited. Okay, maybe you can see on the other side. I keep on clicking of life with you, but I'm not see. I'm not sure if you can see this. So um, let's let's give a moment as I'm just gonna in, in, explain all of you what what's this weekly show is all about. It's for all the ladies out there who learn how to apply the no excuses way of life in different areas, right, of your life, but with the foundation of health and wellness. So you can move the needle forward and succeed in business and in life, right? So that's number one. We welcome, I welcome all of you uh, who are badass, but also who, for those of you who just wanted to know how to become a badass. Sorry guys, I'm still coming close here to the screen just to invite her, but it keeps on saying that you are unable to join. Here we go. I think it's successful. Hello. I'm oh sorry. my goodness. All right, hold on. There we go. Okay, so we we awesome. We we are here together. Perfect. So uh, so yes, our special guest today, Eliana. Eliana Veras is with us, and super. After you see how it is, it's like you trying to connect with a person and doesn't go right away, but you just give it a try, right? So uh, awesome. I hope that a lot of you will be joining because it's gonna be an amazing episode. She's going to have her story to share, and I will share my story. So again, thank you for all of you that have joined. And if you're going to be watching and staying with us, take the necessary notes, really participate in this. Because ladies, ladies and gentlemen, well, it's for everyone. Because for the ladies, some of you might be going through this right now. Some of you will be going through this. Some of you went through this. So it's really how life it is because you are here on this planet because someone did it, all right? Somebody went through this. And what it is, we will be talking about pregnancies. Yes, pregnancy, pregnancy, uh, because pregnancy can create a super huge excuse in one's life. Well, obviously the ladies, because I, I really don't know a man that got pregnant. So we're going to be talking about the girls out there, right? <laughs> Even though, listen, this is a show that we discuss everything. Even though some guys look like pregnant, but I'm sure it's not because they are pregnant. It's because of something else. So let's, let's roll. So um, Aliana, welcome you. Thank you for coming on board. How are you feeling? Thank you for having me. How are you feeling? I am great. She's, I am great. How are you? She's glowing. Yes, she is glowing. So how many weeks are you? Share with us. I am going to be 18 weeks on Friday. There you so go. Four months and a half. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. So ladies, for all of you who are out there and you are currently pregnant, or you wanted to be pregnant one day, this is going to be the show for you because you know what? Knowledge is the key. Knowing knowing that there is also no excuses way of life during pregnancy, I think it's going to help you to battle so, certain things. And we're going to talk about this. We're going to be, I'm going to be sharing my story. Eliana will be sharing her story. I mean, her 18 weeks, it's, it, she already experienced a lot of things in such a short time. 
as well me i went through two pregnancies so look every pregnancy is different right there is not it's not going to be identical pregnancy in this world so, however there are some similarities there are some things that we experience very similar way so it's good to exchange the information so as we go along you know a lot of us what we've realized is when you get pregnant the the instant excuse come out saying you know i am pregnant i feel this this and this i am going to stop my way of life in a certain way a lot of you will st stop stop working out a lot of you are concerned too much about uh, certain things but let's keep in mind that your pregnancy is going healthy right so that's what we 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 rounding to it so i don't want to uh, give you any advice per as per doctor because i am not a doctor i am a fitness coach wellness coach nutrition coach I can give you advice based on what I have, but what we've realized and what we went through, that's what we can say is the pregnancy go is going well. There is no reason for you to have excuses of not to staying healthy, working out and participating in life, right? So look, many people out there going through this every single day. And somehow you have to go through all these weeks and all these months of pregnancy because otherwise you would not be here, right? <laughs> that's that's the bottom line. You have to go through this. So by thinking that you are not alone, I think it should help you also the fact that, okay, there are other women going through this and maybe connecting with, with them and understanding how they're dealing with this. And that's why we have Eliana here because she's currently going through this and this might be something cool for you to connect with and and learn from because she's a coach she knows how to work out her ability to battle her own things is also gonna propel you and i think make you stronger if you feel weak okay because that's how it works so um eliana tell us a little bit the first weeks of pregnancy because we know that those are the most crucial weeks of pregnancy when the baby is being formed and when all your body is going through such a drastic change you're creating a human inside of your belly so tell us yeah. so before confirming that i was even pregnant i knew something was up because my breasts were killing me and i'm going to be as open as possible here just because again women you probably have faced this, are facing it, or will face it, or maybe you will be the lucky ones that have no symptoms at all. <laughs> but before I even confirmed that I was, my breasts were killing me, my body was just not the same. And then weeks later, I ended up testing that I was, that I was positive, not for COVID as I had put out there, but my, I was actually pregnant. And I was so tired, I was so exhausted, I was so bloated, so bloated i had aches everywhere to a point where i even went to the hospital at one point that's how much like my belly was hurting like of all mm -hmm. like the bloatedness mm -hmm. and tiredness and everything because i was like there's no way that i have a human inside of me yeah. feeling this way and it was i from a scale of one to ten ten being the worst i can't say that it was a ten uh, I would say definitely seven, eight for me. And uh, it was super, super challenging. Okay, but let me ask you a question. Did you did you continue working out? Because we know, I mean, obviously you, you, you coach people, you train people, but have you been working out yourself or how how the workouts went for you? What did you so do? So I have actually I have actually kept up the same intensity since before even being pregnant. Um, and I think this is very important because Throughout that time that it wasn't still confirmed that I was, you know, I was living, I, you know, yeah, I was struggling, but I was still living my daily routine. Yeah. And I think this is an important thing to bring up because I know women out there that after it's confirmed that they are pregnant, their whole mind just changes. And I could say that as hard as it is, just keep moving because the minute you stop, it's just like it's just like if you have an illness and pregnancy is not an illness and that's something we want to make clear here 
So I've continued my, my regular routine. I've continued my intensity. But now, as Eva mentioned in the beginning, we are not doctors. So if you have already been in fitness for a while and your pregnancy is going good, you should have no problem. But of course, always consult with a doctor to be on the safe side. Yes, absolutely. Always consult. But we just want to show you that, you know, if, if your pregnancy is going well and and because of the fact that you got pregnant and that second thought comes into your head, you know, I because of the symptoms, that's what it is like. Let's put it this way so it's more clear. Because of the symptoms, how you feel, that you feel tired and exhausted and, and feel a nausea in the first weeks, you want to feel, you, you kind of want to postpone everything, right? You don't want to work out. You, you, you just want to just to relax or sleep. But here comes the point. When you go against this second thought that we have, we all actually have those thoughts, either you're pregnant or not. Like, think about it. There is always that thought inside of you that says, let's make that excuse. Let's just sleep longer. Let's not get up. Let's not work out. It's the same thing. It's just now because you're pregnant, you're holding on to it and you think like, I, I have a bigger excuse because now I can do it. But ladies, it's actually the opposite. And we're going to tell you why it's so important to continue. Let me go back few years because my kids are right now Tyson is nine Ivanka is seven I went through both pregnancies and the first pregnancy it was the time when we first open up our physical location in Spring Valley and we've been training from 5 at 5 a.m all the way to 8 p.m those were the times and let me tell you did I have thoughts of like trying to slow down yes but my purpose, my mission, my commitment to my people that I had to show up for them, train the class, teach the class was stronger than the excuse. So what I want to tell you today is if you're pregnant or you're planning to be pregnant, think ahead, like find the reason for you to get up each morning. Your reason has to be stronger than anything else because sometimes just the daily life, it's not going to get your ass out of the bed when you feel like this. But when you find something deeper it, of service to others, you're going to do this. And we wanted to uh, like underline this, that you can all do it. So that's what I did. And let, I, I, I have to tell you, I had those moments and it was struggle for me as it was struggle for Eliana when she said that it was such a such a traumatic such a difficult time in her life but we kept going so to all of you out there who are going through the same find that reason find the purpose and eliana you mentioned this to me when you had moments with your clients that you wanted to sleep but yet you got up right so tell us about it oh yeah so i i have clients as early as 5 a.m and having to wake up that early when I wasn't, I would get up a thousand times to go pee. I'm like, oh my goodness, it was miserable. But I had to keep giving myself a self-talk that now more than ever, I need to do this. I need to push harder with more of a purpose, with more of a meaning. And I would show up to my clients and this is true story here. I have a client, these two clients that I have five o'clock in the morning. And I was like, something is just not right. Something is not right. And I actually ended up like passing out what? in front of them. And, yeah, but I, I knew I knew something was coming, so I you know I laid myself on the floor, put my feet up, and everything. And it was just like I guess all the changes in my body, and so early in the morning. But let me tell you, I did not stay on the floor. The minute I felt good, I slowly got up. I was like, all right, here we go. We're <laughs> we're gonna keep moving. And it's just like. If you go and you treat pregnancy as, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I, I, I can't do anything. I can't, like, I can't even pick up a, a, a two pound dumbbell. It's, you're going to be stuck and you're going to carry that on through your entire pregnancy. But not only that, after your child is born, you're making that a habit to make excuses for yourself and then for your entire family, which should not be. So we have to be self-aware of these things and really find that push within us because I'm not a, super, a superhero, neither is Eva. We just need to go deep within and tell ourselves, you know what? We did it. We can do it. We're going to have good days. We're going to have great days. We need to make the best out of every single
single day. Yes, yes, well said. And and let me let me tell you, it's it's the fact that it's going to be hard because it's going to be hard, and you are it's unknown. You're entering something that it's unknown for you, right? Especially if this is your first pregnancy, so you don't know what to expect, but. You, you have to just keep those excuses out the window and keep on pushing every single day. And, and, and that's going to set you up for fantastic pregnancy because we're going to talk about the benefits as well. When, when, when you train and when you work out normally, you're trying to keep up the intensity and you're trying to do your best. You're trying to get up and you're trying to go with regular schedule your pregnancy is going to go much better. You know, there are benefits. Like think about it, the fact that you're eating healthy, exercising, staying hydrated, working out. You're pregnant. You can avoid a lot of different issues with pregnancy, like high blood pressure. You can, uh, diabetes, right? And overall, the lower body fat percentage throughout your, uh, throughout these few weeks of pregnancy. So that's something that you can keep in mind. It's gonna, it's not a time guys, it's not ladies, it's not a time to scale in your workout. This is not a time to become as fit as possible. This is not a time to also uh, maintain it. It's the, t it's the time to, to really scale at some point in your workout because think about it, you're gaining weight you're gonna become heavier. So each time you work out, your body is carrying a heavier load. So when you actually give birth and you're gonna uh, go into obviously a postpartum uh, moment, you're gonna have a faster recovery and you're gonna have a quicker way to shred the pounds. And that's very, very important. So just keep that in mind, right? That we, should go through healthy eating, healthy workouts throughout the pregnancy. And when and I, I just, yes, go ahead. Sorry, I just want to say with that too that it's what okay. We want to go. We want to stay active. We want to make sure that we're still keeping a good normal lifestyle as we were when we were before we were pregnant. But a thing to also keep in mind: I'm not working out right now, like Eva just mentioned to get slimmer or to have this sexy body or all this, because obviously that is not the stage that I'm in, but women out there, if you are pregnant, if you are going, are planning to get pregnant, one thing I highly, highly tell you is do not compare yourself to other pregnant women out there, especially on social media. Don't go into this whole fitness, um, fitness uh, women and, and pregnancy and try to be like them. Every pregnancy is going to be different, and there's no such thing as a perfect pregnant body. Yes, yes, so well said. And it's good that you mentioned this because I'm not sure if it happened to you, Eliana, but with my first pregnancy especially, the second one was already different because I kind of knew what my thoughts were and how I reacted. I had a moment when I was reading the books and searching out there so much and seeing how the pregnancy, how the belly would look like and what's gonna happen. First of all, sometimes this overwhelmed you. And second of all, uh, because there are generic information and in books, actually I put one of the books away. That was all very famous book about uh, pregnancy. I literally put this book away. And the reason for it is because this book did not make me feel comfortable. In a way, this book actually starts scaring me from all the complications that I can have throughout the pregnancy. I said, hell, uh, hell no, I am not going to be feeding my mind with uh, crap like this, because that's what I would say, because this is, this wasn't really good. Well said, it's good to know, but you know, if your, if, if your pregnancy is going well and you start reading negative stuff, this stuff sticks in your head. So that's one thing. The other thing was, yes, I was searching and looking and the amount of information out there, the data that we have, it started kind of overwhelming me. So I said, stop. This is your body, your pregnancy. It's unique like for everyone else. So just stick to your own self and like try to go with the flow, how you feel what you can do. 
and and that's what I did. I don't know how it was for you if you were searching and trying to get it out there and like kind of compare yourself, but I had a moment like this and this is normal. But look, now that we're telling you, don't do it. Tune into your own self. This is like the best moment, the best way to actually do this and enjoy the process like with everything, right? It's enjoying the process, not getting yeah. stressed over it because I had a moment when... I was like, oh my God, I'm getting uh, bigger. Uh, my clothes don't fit. And I forgot, literally, I forgot that I was going for pregnancy. I literally forgot for a second. I'm like, wait a second. This is not a time for me to become an athlete. Because what happens is I think with people that train and work out in our coaching coaching world, you, you are go for such a high standards that when something happens around your body, you kind of beat yourself up for it. And you like, uh, you, 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 you wanted to go against what that, what nature planned because nature is like right now is you're going to have that big belly. You, your butt might become big. And this is for your baby, not for anything else. As long as you keep so safe and healthy. Right. So how was yeah. yours? What did you do? I was pretty much the same. I, I would say, okay, I'm not going to gain this amount of weight. Um, and when it comes to that, it's good to have a certain goal where, let's say, you don't want to gain 70, 80 pounds if you're at a good point. Um, but I was at first, I was like, no, I don't want to gain. And I was like giving myself a ridiculous number because I didn't want to go up. I didn't want to go up a certain number on my scale or whatever. And I would compare and I would take, I would like compare my body image to somebody else's that, and exactly what I was saying, somebody else that was pregnant and it was driving me insane. And then at the same time, seeing all that. And one day I saw this lady, she was the tiniest thing ever with twins. This thing, I literally wanted to cry. I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> this is not possible. And I felt so bad. And then I had, to take a, I had to take a moment. And just by us telling you guys, is I want you to realize that, you know, we're human and we go through all this as well, even being coaches. I had to, you know, take a moment and say, you know what, Eliana? I'm already going through so many changes with seeing my actual body change, feeling my body change. You know, I've gotten darker in certain areas. And... I was just feeding my entire brain just negativity. That was me putting negativity into myself. As go well, compare yourself, you're judging yourself, and I'm being beating myself up. When, why, for what? I'm me. This is my body, and I should be grateful, thankful, blessed that I'm going through this experience that a lot of women are not able to experience. Yes, you literally took my fault. Yes, because. We should be we should be all grateful for the fact that we can go through this process because a lot of people out there cannot and they will not be able to. And this this and and I'm sorry we mentioned this because some of you might be watching this episode and some of you went through a difficult time or never got pregnant. So I'm sorry that we kind of mentioning, but we want to kind of put it out to a, an audience and really. Um, increase the fact that being grateful for what's happening to your body it's number one so what really um, helped me through all this process and all these different pregnancies guys was again the purpose and the reason having a very good nutrition for the whole time of being pregnant I was using protein shakes and my favorite protein shake was Herbalife from Herbalife Nutrition, the healthy meal or the protein drink mix. And why, why protein shakes? Because when, think about it, when your body requires protein on daily basis, just, just to keep your metabolism going, right? When you get pregnant, you still need this protein because your body, the bones of the baby, the muscles are going to be being built from protein. So because my nausea and my morning sickness was so difficult for me to handle, shake was something that was very easy because it was easy digestible and easy to drink. Eliana, what do you do like in the morning? Because obviously I guess the nausea is already gone because you are through a second trimester. Yeah. Uh, in the morning, I sadly do miss my Herbalife tea because that was my thing, but <laughs> I still keep up with my shake. I do a shake every single morning, and I um, I just sent me a message about the beverage mix, 
So beverage mix is okay. So that's going to be added back onto everything again. Okay. So she's also drinking the shakes. So finding something that you truly love. Well, we both love the shakes. We've had such an amazing results with our bodies and with our coaching clients at Peak and and we love the product. So of course, if you want to know more, let us let us know. Send us a message, and we can uh, send you information because the products are really really good. There are certain things that you should not obviously uh, take because of the caffeine intake or like aloe. You should not be taking. But again, what else helped me? Eating so eating and drinking, drinking a lot of fluid, drinking the protein shakes was very crucial. Um, working out daily because I have to tell you with the morning sickness that actually finishes in the first three months right then you go for second trimester but there are other things coming along in the third trimester so um, might be great might not be your your my sickness was going away with the workouts so I have to tell you as the moment that I would put my shoes on and start moving the heart rate would go up and I would feel immediately better. So ladies, move. Don't treat your pregnancy as illness unless your doctor recommends you to obviously lay down and not move. Let's keep this in mind because we're talking yeah. about healthy pregnancy. We just want to be very clear. Um, move, work out. Uh, once you're going to start doing this, remember what I told you, your body mass you're going to be, of course, you're going to be gaining the weight because all the waters that are in your uh, abdominal wall, right? And the fact that the baby is growing, you're going to be seeing the change on the scale, but you're going to be maintaining the lean muscle still. And that's what you all want. Because if you're going to let yourself gain so much weight, there are so many uh, problems along the pregnancy and then the problems continue after. And, and it's proven, look, studies have shown that if you're going to continue being healthy through the pregnancy, that your recovery will be faster. You can even, some women go through depression after or during. So this has a tremendous impact on you. And that's why it's so important. Plus, when you work out, the ephedrines go up and you feel better because if, if you've been doing this and you stop because you felt, you know what, now I can eat whatever I want and not work out, the boost of the energy that you were getting and now it has been removed from your daily workout, daily routine, it can impact your whole mindset and your whole body. So make sure that you do that. And if Many, many women lose the weight initially, you know, after, after giving the birth, the birth, but gain tremendous amount of after. So I just want to touch on this because what I've seen in clients uh, that I've trained postpartum, it wasn't necessarily uh, right for, they gained some weight in the pregnancy. They lost the weight after giving birth and then they gained the weight later. And let me tell you, some of them, it's 20 years later, and they still have the post-pregnancy weight. So the, the fact that you're thinking about this right now, having the healthy pregnancy, working out, and then after keeping that in mind that the baby will be born four to six weeks later and you can resume with your exercises is very important. So important because, um, again, you don't want to join the group of women that 20 years later still feel that they have that that round stomach from the pregnancy right and there is that's why we say no excuses because this can all be done as long as you have a plan and what else is really uh, important in this whole case having a coach i believe Having a coach, because somebody that will guide you, that will walk you through, that will give you the guidance through through your workouts. Because mm, doing it on your own, I would not recommend this. Uh, ideally, would be to having having a coach, right? So, like Eliana is doing the workouts. Uh, Eliana, say a little bit about your workouts. Where where are you located? Because our workouts are well, all virtual. I'm doing, I do one on one um, private training. I'm in Rockland County, so feel free to reach out to me. And you can also follow me on Instagram. It will be Veras Eliana 5 
Yes, yes. So if you would like direct information, having coach, being coached by her in her location, then you can I shoot her. I will not pass out on you. <laughs> <laughs> and shoot her a message. However, if you looking to, to do a virtual workouts from wherever you are in this world, you can reach out to me and we do all the workouts virtual. So your program is specifically designed for you or we do group sessions or one-on-one, -on -one, whatever, based on your current situation. However, we can help you. And I see you guys been logging in into different social media platforms. So yes. Thank you so much for joining. Eliana, if you have anything else uh, to say, let, share with us. And, and, uh, and uh, yeah, we would like to thank you for really joining us today and, and, and really share this video with women that might need that right now because this is important. Listen, this is, we are here. We are here because somebody went through this, even though they had maybe hard pregnancy that went through this, that they kept the no excuses mindset till the end. So only a few things that I want to mention is if you are planning on actually moving, getting your body active um, while pregnant, please make sure that you do listen to your body. So an example, I will no longer do sit-ups right now. So we're encouraging you if you are have if you do have a healthy pregnancy to you know get up and move, but please make sure to listen to your body. Now also remember. Um, Yes, you, you want to take care of your belly. You want to take care of your baby. But don't be to the extreme where I had mentioned before where even picking up your lip gloss is a big deal. Uh, you have to think, I'm pretty sure your handbag weighs a good amount. If those of you that have toddlers and you're carrying your toddlers, that's probably as much as a dumbbell that you could pick up. So don't be so dramatic and... Don't go into complaining and just sitting and thinking you could eat everything because also, yes, maybe you could go and have your cravings, but make sure that you have control and that you're mindful. And at the end, no complaining. Pregnancy is not an illness. And instead, just count all the blessings that come through the entire journey. Yes, absolutely. So well said. So yes, again, please share this video with your loved ones and someone that is going maybe through a time like this. And uh, maybe they having a difficult time or maybe they're doing awesome and they have a blessed pregnancy, but they maybe stop working out and they need someone that will guide them. Because again, muscle has a memory when it comes to working out. So when you're going to continue that muscle pumping, when you continue to do some kind of a workout, it's going to only benefit you and give you a better outcome at the end. Because look, let's look around us. Look how many people after it starts during pregnancy and then it continues after when women forget about that it, you can look good. You still can look good. It doesn't matter that you had one child or two or three. You, you remember, you taking care of yourself, you take care of your pregnancy, your belly, your newborn baby eventually, and then you are the example as a parent. So if you're going to cut on the excuses right now, I guarantee you that you're going to grow that human that is going to be walking around, running around, and, and being crazy, you're going to give them a good mindset. Because when you're going to fall into an all excuses mindset for your pregnancy, you're going to carry this on for yourself and for your family. And that's why we see all around us such a high amount of overweight people. And when you think about this, this starts with the parents. You are the person that is responsible for it. You are the person that's going to give them the good example or not. When they're going to take it from school? No, from their parents. So think, you see how chain, how this is a chain reaction. Starting with pregnancy, postpartum, post-pregnancy, raising the kids. We are, you are no longer one, you are two. And you need to keep that in mind that no excuses, 
during pregnancy will give you amazing outcome after. And Chaz is writing, hi Coach Eva, listening to you while going on my daily walk. And nice. Yeah. If um, I want you guys, well, Eva, if you can, maybe when we're done, if you can put, share a picture of you pregnant on the No Excuses Ladies page, just because I want you all to see her transformation when she was pregnant and how she looks like now. So it's possible, it can be done. And if you go onto my Instagram page, I'm constantly pu um, putting my journey every week and you will see my entire thing through my pregnancy. And then after this baby comes out, you will see how I will be transforming back again. So it can be done and we're here to help you. Yes, we, it can be done. We are here to help you. And if I, well, I mentioned this in my previous episode, but just to touch on this, I went through two C-sections and two C-sections are much harder to go back into your previous uh, weight, previous look, because of the fact that seven layers of your abdominal wall has been cut. And with this said, when you give natural birth, your entire body, all the muscles are working to push the body. In the meantime, here, there is absolutely no muscle has been worked on, no push, no hard uh, work can be, was done. So you literally are cut and this belly remains uh, stagnant without any kind of motion or good blood flow into the muscle for a long time. So for those of you who had C-section, or who will have it, there is help, there is hope. But what you need to do is like I told you, eat healthy, get some protein, hire a coach. I, I oh, oh, I see that, I see you posting it in there. Yes, I'm gonna post the picture, definitely, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I will, uh, it, it, you know guys, it's, it's what you need to do, especially after when you recover, is to work out. So you pump the, the blood into your disturbed muscle. And I had this, thank you, Eliana, and I had this twice done. I had this twice plus third, uh, third surgery was when I had cut from the sternum all the way down to my belly, all the way below my belly button, cut along the way to repair the hernia that the pregnancy caused me. And I did everything in my willpower to change my body. So remember, what you put your mind into, it's going to happen. And I know that so many of you might think, you know what? She's showing this picture right here. I am a coach. She's a coach. She knows what to do. She knows all the steps. Yes, that's why you need to hire a coach. Don't do it on yourself because you're going to end it up like a few billion people out there that still trying to figure out 20 years later. Always follow someone that has done it, that knows what to do. Because if you try to find your way, you're, what's happening is instead of road being straight and you getting delivered information right and left with a leading person, with your leader, with a coach, you going into a windy road, up and down, you gain, you lose. You gain, you lose because there is no tools or no platform, no map, no GPS system put it in place. So make sure that you do this. That's why coaching is number one thing that can help you to go through the next level. So now you guys know, ladies and gentlemen, you know what's going on, how you can help. Maybe there, you are a guy and watching this and your wife is pregnant or you just had, she had, she had a baby and she needs help, right? So send her this message, ask her to contact us, let her, let her explore, explore the topic because this can be done and she will be able to change. And we needed to do this episode. There was like really uh, right on time, she got pregnant and I thought about this, doing these episodes, especially this one from a different perspective because we've been talking about habits, you know, AM routine, PM routine. We've been going right and left in all these different topics that help you scale in life. But we never touch on such a basic as far as giving birth, having the pre and post and what happens because this is our life. This is such a huge chunk of our life. Nine months and then 
postpartum. So again, it can be done. Reach out to us. Reach out to me if you need uh, operate to dominate in mind, body, and business. I'm going to post later on the link that you can actually type your information in and I'm going to get your email address so we can contact and do that one-on-one -on -one call that will help you to scale. Some people will need just mind. Somebody will need the nutrition. Someone needs both workouts and some people need three aspects. So either, either way, contact us, contact me. Let's do this. Thank you so much for joining, Eliana. This was fun. You can see her joining. Thank you. You can see. And, and yes, are you... We wearing yeah. the same dress, guys, just for you. Yeah. You see, we did it everything for you. So from the dress to the speech to everything, here we go. And we have similar hair too. Oh yeah, I didn't <laughs> even know. Well, that. you you yeah. have the on top. I have right here. So <laughs> that's so funny. To all you mothers out there, I want to tell you: you are brave, you are strong, you are powerful, you are amazing. Yes, and keep that in mind because we carry huge backpacks on on our backs and that's a load that to carry but you you are amazing you are loved you are you can be successful you can push forward and change your life no matter where you are right now it's the most important is where you going so self belief and that help i think i think having a coach is such a wonderful thing because that person, that person will be straightforward to you. Straightforward that maybe someone from your family will never tell you this, how it's supposed, what you're supposed to hear. Sometimes that tough love, that tough hand can really scoop you up and say, you know what? This is what I need. Just is saying, you guys are amazing. You guys are great and absolutely beautiful. Thank you for these, these episodes. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Invite friends to the Facebook page of No Excuses. And again, watch her journey and let us know how else we can help you, really, because the help is, is there. We just need to ask for it. So many people don't, right? So many people don't. Anyway, having no excuses life. <laughs> <laughs> and have an amazing day everybody thank you for watching again goodbye bye everybody